Right, now you're on, lying on your tummy. We're going to start to see how to use those corset muscles to support your back. All right, so just lying on your tummy. Don't forget those basic things you just learned about your shoulders, relax your shoulders, laterally breathing. All right, good. Now, once you engage your breathing laterally, the next thing I want you to think about is engaging your pelvic floor. So you know how we did that lying on your back, the handle, engaging your transverse abdominis. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my hands on Penny's back where I'm wanting you to start to think about. So I'm just at the top of the sacrum in your lower back here and quite close on the spinous processes, so on the bumps on your back. And we're going to try and track down if multifidus is working. Now, remember the goal is here not to arch your back. So if you do it the wrong way, just arch your back, Penny. Okay, that would be tightening up all these big, long, strappy muscles. Relax, so that would be the wrong way. They're your power muscles, and they're not the ones that give you the stability for your spine. So what I want you to do, shoulders, laterally breathing, all right. Think of engaging the handle, pelvic floor, drawing your belly button in, all right. Now, what the next thing I want you to do is just think about that you're going to lift your right leg off the table. That's it, don't actually lift it, just think about lifting it off. Relax, now just hold it there. All right, so what's happening there is if your body thinks that you're about to lift that leg off the ground, what you're trying to do is engage these deep segmental muscles of the back, the multivitus, okay? And it's a tendency here for Penny to overarch, which you'll be doing too. Relax again. So let's go through that again. Shoulders, breathing laterally, engaging pelvic floor. Now relaxing your back muscles, your big back muscles. You're trying to get the deep back, the deep muscles of your back. So the little multifidus they're called. Now just think about lifting your right leg off the table. Two, three, four, five, and hold that for five, four, three, two, one, and then relax there. So how we train this muscle is we don't want to flick it on and flick it off. So just do it the wrong way, Penny. Okay, that would be flicking it on and flicking it off, your back muscles and your glutes here. What we want to do is slowly engage that muscle. Okay, let's do the left side. Shoulders, laterally breathing. All right, pelvic floor, transverse abdominis. Remember, that's your corset that comes and attaches to this multifidus. All right, and the slowest you ever move, think of lifting your left leg, your other leg, off the ground, two, three, four, five, holding for five, four, three, two, one, and relaxing there. Okay, because as you know, where you've got pain in your lower back, at just that segment, those deep muscles go away. And that's why your back can lock at unexpected times because when you think to move, your back locks up. And what we're trying to do here is we're just thinking to move and trying to give it that little degree of stability. All right, let's go again, shoulders laterally breathe, pelvic floor tummy, think about lifting the right leg off the ground, two, three, four, just think of gently lengthening your right leg, Penny, that's better, and I can feel, so that might work for you, holding it there, I just got her to lengthen just a little bit through that leg, don't do that please if you've got a sacro sacroiliac joint problem, and back down again, relax, all right, just let's do the other side, shoulders, Laterally breathe, pelvic floor, transverse abdominis, that's your corset. All right, don't brace your upper abdominals there. Left leg, to train a slow twitch muscle, you need to engage it in a slow twitch way. So you can't flick that on. Two, three, four, five, left leg, holding, back down and relax. So you could probably do that about four or five times each side. And you can also do that when you're standing or when you're sitting, just thinking of drawing the pelvic floor tummy in and just engaging the multifidus when you're in that position as well. All right, let's try another one. All right, on the side where you have pain, not only do you have weakness in these deep muscles, you also often have weakness in your glutes. So let's have a look at that. Shoulders, diaphragm, tummy. 
all right, pelvic floor. Think of lifting the right leg off the ground, two, three, four. Bend the right knee to 90 degrees, so bend it, good. Now think of lifting it off the ground, but don't lift it. That's it, and you can see here we're engaging the glutes and hopefully some of the deeper hip muscles. Back down again and relax. Remember, we're just getting a starting point here to our stability. Relax again. Okay, shoulders, breathing. Left leg, the ah, ah. Think of lifting the leg off the ground. Two, three, four, five. Bend the knee, bend the knee to 90 degrees. Think about lifting the leg off the ground so you're engaging the left glutes. Good. Two, three, four, five. Back down again and relax. All right, now we're going to pause for a little second here and you maybe should repeat that about probably three or four times each side. Remember, no back pain. If there's pain when you're doing it, you're doing the exercise wrongly. Right, now let's shift to the upper part, to our neck and our mid-back and get some stability muscles working here while we're in this position. So your hands are going to be either side. Right, lovely. Relaxing neck and shoulders. Okay, pelvic floor, tummy. Lengthen the back of the neck. Now often what you find is that if you've got neck pain, we're very stiff in this part of our back, in our thoracic, and very weak in our neck. And so we're going to show you how you can start to engage these small stability muscles of the cervical spine or of the neck. Right, relaxing the shoulders first. All right, lateral breathing, lengthening the sternum at the front, lovely. Belly button, thinking exit, the pelvic floor. Now, just lengthening the back of the neck and just think about taking your hands off the ground but don't take them off. All right, so you're starting to engage the little muscles of your spine. Now, I'm letting Penny overdo that a little bit. It's an even smaller movement than that. Now the smallest movement you ever did, just think about lifting your neck off the table, holding two, three, four, five, and back down again, relax. Isn't that amazing how hard it is, isn't it? Now, I don't want Penny to hurt herself nor you, so we're just gonna do it one slightly the wrong way, just so you can see. So don't hurt yourself, Penny. Hands arched back, that would be the wrong way, and back down again, all right? That would be just using all your big long back extensors, and I don't want that. So let's go through the correct way again. Shoulders relax. Remember, we're engaging and training the muscles that should be working when you think to move. Believe it or not, these muscles should be working when you're sitting in a chair, when you're standing, working at the computer, and if you have pain, they won't be. So what we've got to do is track them down and engage them and then train them. Let's have a go again. Shoulders relaxed, lateral breathing, pelvic floor, transverse abdominis, relaxing the glutes, just lengthening your sternum at the front. Think of lifting your hands off the ground, but don't lift them off. Holding, two, three. Think of lifting your neck off the ground. If it hurts, stop straight away. It should not hurt when you do this. Isn't your head heavy? So that's because these little muscles are not doing their job. And back down again and relax. Okay, and just recover.